For today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a volcano plot using Python. So what is a volcano plot? It's a 2D scatter plot that has the shape of a volcano. It is used for visualizing and identifying statistically significant um, changes in gene expression from two different experimental conditions, such as a normal tissue in a treated tissue. For volcano plots, the log two four changes are plotted on the x axis and then the p values are plotted on the y axis. For this tutorial, you need to ensure that you have these two libraries installed, pandas and then bioinfo kits. Okay, we are going to use these two for reading and then generating the plots. Um, you can install these two libraries using the pip or conda commands and I've made separate videos on how to use these two tools for installing Python packages. So now let's proceed. So let's quickly look at how the data formats should be. First of all, the data format should be in a CSV format. And then if you have this information, if you have a column for gene names, a column for log two fold changes, and a column for P value, you should make sure these informations are there. Of course, you can have other columns as well, but just make sure these three are there. And you also make sure you know the column names you used for them. Now let's proceed. So once you have all this information, I can proceed to do the plotting. So we go to the Python interface. You can use any Python editor. You can use any operating system at all. Just make sure you have Python and the libraries mentioned installed. Okay. So the first thing is you import your libraries. So we start with pandas. And then the next is to import the bioinfo kits. So we say from bioinfo kits, import analyst versus. Okay, I'm also going to leave a link to the developer of the bioinfo kit to speech in the description and you can check those ones as well. Okay, now we have our libraries loaded. So we set, we have specify where our data is. We give the path. So after that, we can now use pandas to read the data. So we say df equals to pandas pd dot read csv. And then we specify the data path. Now let's look at some sample of how the data is going to be here. So these are the information we will need to plot. Okay. So now that we have the data, let's look at the plotting. And the bioinfo kit has a number of options that can be used to generate um, the plot and as well as annotate or provide extra additional information on the plot. So we'll start with the basic plots. And to do that, we say versus that's gen this is the command we use then we specify the data frame which is the df and for us the name is also df so we use that and the lfc yeah you need to specify the name that you use to represent a log two four changes in your file okay in our case, the name was log2fc. If yours is different, you can specify that as well. And then we also need to specify the name for the p-value. In our case, the name was p-value. And now it's be loaded. So now it has been plotted. Now by default, resource will save it as, will save it with a name, it wouldn't show. Okay, so you can go and then view it 
in your folder that you are but if you want to show it straight away then you can just use the argument show equals true and to show it for you here okay that is how it is it has shown it for you now you can do other modifications we can notice the log two full chain values here we can rotate it so that the values are upright okay and to do that we can just issue the same command and then give an argument here ar is equals to zero this is the rotation angle and then if you do that uh, let's make it and then do ar equals to zero and then show equals true and then notice that it is now upright here okay that has been done so this is a way that you can use to plot and then manipulate um, the information for the volcano plot let's try another one we want to add some additional information to it there are times you want to show the legend okay and so if you want to show the legend then we can add some extra information as well there are more hacks on the developers page that you can go and then check so we add plot legend true okay now you can also add some information such as legend position upper right and then you have it so you notice that you now have the legend shown here okay you can also change the threshold for the p value and then the log two full change and this information will be used to determine which genes are shown to be up or down regulated on their plots we will still use the same command here and then this time we will set a threshold okay we can set a threshold such as lfc because lfc let me add that one here lfc and then we add these are thresholds okay and then we indicate another one the p-value threshold which are 0 0.05 0 0.01 and then it will now show this legend so be, those thresholds will determine significant um, genes and those that are not significant and those that are down so in other words up and then down regulated genes will be shown and then so this green colors indicates those are up regulated red is down regulated and we have those that are not in, in either of the groups so this is how it's done now we can also add a color to it okay so if you, let's say you want to change the color you can have options that does that as well okay so let's add a color now we just go by this one without any and then we can add a color to it here color is equal to let's say blue gray and then what's green to specify that color let me show it here I didn't bring the show argument so we can just do the show equals true here 
okay so you notice that the colors have changed okay indicating this colors now let's try one more last thing we can also annotate by adding labeling with specific genes okay so if let's say you wanted to add some gene information then we can just do this we also specify this and then add the gene ids and then from the gene ids you can specify maybe some genes you want to be included here okay and then once you are done with that we can just use our arrow cursor and then show cause true and then it will show the genes for you so notice that the genes has been shown and so with this you can show which genes um, have been have had significant changes in the expression and you can also show genes that were up or down regulated on the same volcano plot okay so these features have been added to the bioinfo toolkit and so it gives you that flexibility um, to sh um, express or to um, demonstrate what information you want um, to show on the volcano plot i'm going to leave a, li a link in the description for the developers page and then you can go and check it out and then use this particular cool tool to generate your volcano plots so this is all i have for you for today and i'll see you again in the next session bye bye